Hello friends and family. This is the video update for the month of October. Um, it's been a very productive month um, at Word of Life. <laughs> I've got quite a few things done. Um, three major projects I was able to finish this month. Um, so I'll go through and kind of share what those look like, um, what they look like before, what they look like now, um, and what that means for the future, I guess. Um, so the first one is the landscaping project. The project was in an area of our property that was very neglected. Um, there's a lot of trees and piles of stone and stumps. Um, so I was able to take all of those out and flatten that area. Uh, a lot of students helped me um, after class and a lot of staff were able to pitch in, kind of lend a hand. Um, so there's a lot of people that were available for that. Um, if it was just me, it would have taken a lot longer, but we're able to get that all flat um, and we're ordering 25 tons of dirt in the coming weeks um, to finish off that area and to make it completely flat past the area that I worked on previously. Um, so that area is finished. We'll use it for activities, outdoor classes, um, possibly for outdoor meal times during camp where there's a lot more people, um, but just so we can use that area more in the future. The next project I did this month was the basketball court. Um, it has been a dream of the school to have uh, a, a court um, with lines. Thus far, we haven't had anything. Um, but my boss threw up a plan and gave it to me um, and I just kind of ran with it, I guess. Um, and the students and staff on various days, whenever they had time, they would come and help me. Um, so it wasn't just me, I had a lot of volunteers um, that were available to help tape off lines, chalk lines, hold tape measures, all that kind of stuff. If it was just me, it would have taken a lot longer. Um, but we got it finished in just under a week and it's looking great, I think. Um, and the students and staff have already played many hours of basketball on it. Um, it's just a really nice addition to the property and it's kind of an eye catcher um, for advertisement and overall property appeal. Um, so I'm very happy with that. I personally am not a basketball person, but I enjoy seeing people have fun with the new court. The last project I squeezed in this month was building a stone wall. Uh, it's roughly 100 feet long. Um, there's an area of the property that had a mound of stone and dirt um, to kind of indicate the property line. Um, but with all the extra stone that I pulled out with the landscaping project, I was able to use that to build the wall. Um, so now we redid that. It looks a lot better and you're able to identify the border a lot better and also keeps the neighboring horses and cows from coming onto our property. So that's a quick recap of what I did this month. Um, I'm planning on going to the States December and January. Um, so with the remaining weeks of November, I have to finish the landscaping project with the dirt that's arriving pretty soon, 25 tons. Um, I also need to build another chicken tractor to accommodate 30 more chickens. Um, and there's several property fixes I need to do before winter camp, which is also in December, the time that I'm leaving. Um, so I need to go through and fix a couple bathrooms. And there's a couple ceiling leaks that have happened. Um, it's a lot of things I'm trying to juggle and squeeze in before I leave for a couple months. Um, so that's what I'm focusing on in the future. Um, yes, port wise, I have just under $200 a month um, coming in. There are some prayer requests that I have. Uh, I'm going to the US December and January. Um, and as you all know, COVID regulations have changed travel quite a bit. Um, so if you could pray for wisdom for me um, and ease of travel with all the complications, um, that would be very helpful. Also, we had campus days this month. Um, so around 20 or so Korean um, high school students visited our campus. And a lot of them had a lot of good things to say um, some potential students will come out from that group, um, but if you could pray for their hearts. Um, a lot of them don't have Bible training um, or a strong relationship with God, but they were convicted in their time here um, that they need to change that. So from the testimonies that we've heard and received from them, uh, if you could pray that they continue in their walk with God even after leaving our campus um, and that some potential students will come from the, the campers that visited, um, that would be really good. Also, there's a lot I need to do before I go back in December for a break. Um, so just the determination and the wisdom for me as I try to finish up projects and what needs to be done um, before I leave that the school would be set for a couple months um, during camp and during all the things that happen on campus, um, that I would prioritize that stuff well. 
Um, and so thank you for your support thus far and your prayers. Uh, I've definitely been encouraged a lot by responses um, and conversations I've had um, with some of you. So thank you a lot. There's often like a disconnect, I guess, between missionaries um, and supporters. Uh, you know, once a month isn't always the best option. Uh, I will continue to do once a month updates, but there's a lot of stuff that happens on a daily basis. Um, and so with that being said, I'm gonna be making a Facebook Messenger group chat um, where I can share updates on a semi-daily basis, you know, once once a day, once every three days, something like that. Um, just sending pictures of what I fixed or what I've done or something the students are doing or praise or a salvation, um, something of that nature related to my ministry or word of life. Um, but I'll just kind of throw something in the chat um, and you can see and get more timely updates um, in a general sense of what's happening. So it's a lot of stuff that's not shared um, in the monthly update videos that could happen in that group chat. Um, so if you're wanting to add to that um, to see regular happenings of Word of Life or my ministry, um, let me know and I'll add you to that group chat. Um, but if you would just like to receive the once a month video, that's totally cool by me. Um, I'll continue to send those, but so I say thank you. Um, I will send another update pretty soon before I go back to the States. Um, and I appreciate you taking time to watch this video.